thank you so much for uh, sparing your time on weekend and uh, i'll make sure that the next one hour is going to be worth and to start with in this session we are going to see what is data engineering now this is a buzz keyword that is happening all across the technologies and most of the companies are now looking for data engineers but let's see what is this data engineer okay and uh, i'll break down the entire session and for that i have given you the agenda and to start with i'm very privileged to talk about myself myself santosh you can call call me santosh no sir no madam in it culture so you can call me with name and i do have a decade of experience working in it all of my experience is working towards a data driven technologies uh, started to work with data and continuing to do until now so i'm currently working as manager in microsoft and apart from that i'm also contributing to training in ksr a uh, certified trainer and i'm being responsible for managing almost uh, 80 projects so far and i have to, do have experience in different domains now let's talk about what we are going to discuss today first we will try to understand what is data engineering and uh, we'll understand in a very layman term when i say layman term anyone who, who sits in this class concentrate for the next one hour you should be able to understand what is this data engineering right now and uh, at last i'll tell you why it is needed why companies are looking for data engineers and i'll be talking about the course and also i'll be telling about the growth of this technology and so on okay now let me start with a simple example data okay let me start with a simple example data i know yesterday most of you would have seen this news right yesterday most of you would have seen this news and you know that the person who is on the left side who is actress plus model poonam pandey okay so we got a news yesterday morning on instagram and that is the instagram message that you see in in, in center saying that she passed away with cervical cancer and it was a very shocking right it was a very shocking for us because she is just 32 years old just like us 31 32 she is in that range so 31 32 getting a cancer was something fishy right and actually this post has come from her instagram id the initial few minutes uh, there were a lot of messages that is circulating that it's a fake account or may someone would have hacked her account all this but slowly the rumors started to convert as a news instead of entire day i was been monitoring this i was been monitoring this the entire social media news facebook instagram stories everywhere we have seen this news right and i was also researching i also started i i never followed but i still i was going to her instagram account and i was researching doing research 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 one thing i found out is four days back she has posted some pictures and suddenly this is something which was very surprising and lot of comments lot of people started saying that uh, maybe it could have happened and some people started portraying that she knew it before that's why she was enjoying her life right so a lot of things happened and you know what very openly honestly i'll tell you even i didn't know what is a cervical cancer really i didn't know this so the first thing what i did is i know cancer but i don't know what is a particular terminology i didn't know so immediately the first thing what i did is i searched in google i searched in google right now this happened yesterday february 2nd february 3rd she has again put another couple of videos and she has actually faked her demise uh she did it for a awareness i'm not here to debate about that i'm here to talk about what's the power of social media and data here right so what is happening in social media i'm not focusing on that because uh, if you ask me even in my sleep i talk about data right that's my profession that's my passion working with data and data and data so that's why i wanted to bring this example to you just one day just one day from yesterday morning till today morning the way the news have started spreading right and people have started searching in google right and if you don't know let me tell you this is a google trend right so if you don't know you can go back and research google trends are nothing but how many people are searching what words right and what is the things they are searching we can clearly go and get a graph if you see in the left side graph i just searched cervical cancer and if you see in the past 7 days 
I have just searched in a Google trend, right? So Google trend will tell you uh, what's the percentage of people who are searching, how many people are searching. You can get the complete track of that. And if you see in the last seven days, this is a graph, right? When I searched about cervical cancer, even I search, I'm telling you very openly, I have heard about a lot of other cancers, but I never knew about this. Even I searched, what is this? In one day, February 1st to February 2nd, this is February 3rd today, but in this gap, see the spike, see the spike. And you know what? It's not about only that. Since she has posted the, I mean, she has posted that news, fake news. We are happy that she's alive, but maybe our approach, I don't know what was our approach, but I'm not here to debate whether she did it right or wrong, but see the correlation. People who search cervical cancer, people who search Poonam Pandi, see the pattern. See the pattern. Now that is where I am interested. I'm not interested about what she had done, but I'm interested about the pattern. Now that's where I am here to talk about data. See the trend. Seven days, no one has searched about that. And in just exactly one day back, maybe if I'd have taken this demo yesterday, I would have not talked about this, right? If I'd have talked about yesterday, maybe I would have not talked about this because today morning we got to know that she's alive and see the trend that has been searched. And that is where data is important for us. One small fake news, one small fake news. See how the social media is reacting. How many people are reacting? right from all these celebrities, everyone, right? So if you talk about celebrities, if you talk about actors, everyone started posting in Twitter. Everyone started posting in Facebook, Instagram, comments. That's the power of social media. Well, I am not focusing on social media, but I'm focusing on data. Now, how is data is collected now? How is data is collected? Now, data is collected via different social medias. So they try to collect the data from Facebook. They try to collect the data from Instagram and they start collating. And that is where we are able to capture all this information. 15 years back, 20 years back, if I had asked this, this would have never happened. This would have never happened. We would have never got to know all this. If any news is getting spread, but we would have not gone to this range right but just one day a single fake news see how the data has been changing here see the pattern forget about what she did we are interested about data here right now for all this what is really important very simple mm -hmm. we need to have the data points we need to have the data points and that is where now we will talk about data engineering let me tell you for any analysis of course this comes with a graph it comes with some analysis but who is a person who is going to help in gathering all the data it's none other than data engineers so let's talk about data engineering to start with as usual i always try to relate with industry and that is where you're seeing on the screen now you see most of the actors directors movies heroes you know all them right you know all them, correct? Recently, if I ask you, is there any a movie which was very successful, right? Was very successful. Anyone? Is there any movie which were recently got success and it was like a blockbuster, anything like that? Any movie? Salar. Salar. Okay. Animal. Animal. Katera. Okay. Now, uh, if I ask you who was a hero in Animal or who was a hero in Salar, you people will tell, right? So you people, uh, if any movie is good, if any movie is good, the first thing you always talk about is, hey, that hero has done very well. The actress acting is so good. The director has come up with a more innovative uh, like story, right? Personally, I'll tell you, everyone will have one or the other hero whom you like, right? So one or the other movie you like, and I mean, especially you will have a favorite hero, favorite hero in, right? For me, there is no favorite hero, there is no favorite heroine, and there is no favorite director. Because according to me, for every movie success, the people you see on the screen just play 20 to 25% of their role. The entire movie success depends on the backstage people. Without these people, even if you stand upside down, you can never run the show. You need cameraman, right? You need the backstages. You need the light person, you need the sound, you need that audio, graphics, everything. If you don't have this, even if you stand upside down, you can never run a show. According to me, these are the people who are really important for your movie success.
it's not about who is on the front face right so people always say that the people who are acting are the reason i am not saying it's 0% 20 25% they play a major role because they have to act they have to put lot of efforts they have to have that uh, sync but according to me these are the people who are really important for running the show well you know why i'm talking about this because i know the pain in working with the projects how much struggle a data engineer is doing it now let's talk about data engineers right now this are the real artists now what this happens if i want to put it in a words the backstage work is really important because there should be a stage that has to be built for movie acting i'll call it in a technical terms data infrastructure that means i need a place where the data comes in plays its role and goes off right so just like you have a stage where people come in they do their acting and go off i need a place now i need an infrastructure and that is what i will consider as an a storage place right now managing the lights and sounds is very important for running the movie but for me data processing and management is important right so the one which i have highlighted is something which i'm talking towards the data and the one it's a very simple example which i'm talking about movie right setting the scene what is setting the scene um of course uh, being in bangalore uh, and being in one of the very good area i have been always witness to a lot of uh, 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 shootings i have been i have exposed to a lot of shootings okay near my home there are a lot of shootings that happens uh, short movies or the serials always i, I see that that uh, generator box and the uh, uh, lighting settings everything will be there i have seen a lot of times right i have seen the struggle okay the way the struggle right that is why i was able to bring up this example i have seen a very much a live shooting show that has happened and that is why i am talking about this and that is why i don't show interest towards the people who show the face on the front face right so that's why it's, i'm i keep saying that i don't like any actress or actors or directors but i always give respect to this people because i have seen lively so they say that action right so the moment they say action the acting everything goes on and suddenly they say that stop right stop or some words they use so that's actually setting up the scene start to end now i will call it as data pipeline once the data starts it keeps on flowing 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 and at last i need to stop it right so that is where i'll call it as a pipeline now all this making sure that the shooting goes smooth making sure that if something happens power cut happens you have the backups there you have a power backup here i have a data backup right so there you have to en entry pass not everyone will be allowed to enter and see the shootings there there will be a blockers there will be a, a security will not allow you only if you have a pass you can enter the shooting spot similarly i will not allow you to enter my system unless and until your data security is been given right so the entire movie backstage now i am relating to a data related services right now let me talk about top 3 technologies i've been saying this for the last 10 years now right last 10 years i've been seeing that this are the technology that is always in demand when i say it is in demand it's about a data driven technology okay there are other applications or maybe other technologies which involves uh ui or a java but i'm not talking about that i'm talking about data driven technologies i have been seeing this for the last 10 years right from the day one of my career until now i have been seeing that data data and data right and data analyst data scientist business analyst other three technologies which are in demand not in any particular order but where is data engineers we have joined for a data engineering course and you will be surprised to see there is no data engineering here right there is no data engineering well let me tell you all these three people will never survive if there is no data engineer all these three people will never survive if there is no data engineer well i'll simply say that data analyst data scientist business analyst all these are like a branches of the tree they keep growing but without the root there is no point in having a tree now that root is nothing but the strongest root which is acts like a, a base for everyone not only this for all of the technologies your data becomes like a root and that is nothing but data engineering without data engineering never think about the top 3 now that is where we are focusing on data engineering i am very sorry to say this companies need data engineers but we don't have quality data engineer i am using the word quality data engineer 
right you come come to me or come to our institute morning you come night i will get you the complete information of data engineer but it's not needed the company is quality data engineer i keep using the word quality it's like quality in the sense you can become a doctor in one day also you can become a doctor in 10 years also right what really is important is how effectively you can come up with a problem solving and that is where we are focusing on data engineering right so try to understand in the first 10 15 minutes i've told you what is the importance of data and i've told you who is a root and without that there is no one else can survive right now let's talk about growth of data now why nowadays the data is keep on increasing and couple of slides back i've shown you what happened in the last one day how the social media is reacting how many tweets how many messages oh my god i was i was also literally i was uh, observing for the last one day what was happening right i usually don't do that but last one day i was observing what is happening and fortunately today demos i was able to use this as an example to tell you how the data is growing right so so many tweets so many messages so many things have happened right now let me take a case by case i'll explain you two cases right let's see one by one okay let's talk about ayodhya anyone got a chance to visit anyone got a chance to visit any up people or north people anyone anyone planning this year first of all when did it open 21st jan 22nd jan 21st or 22nd 22nd why it is uh, why everyone is talking about this ayodhya temple it's just a temple right even near my home also there was a new temple that was built why they are making it uh, a big news anyone this is a long pending case it's a place of uh, lord uh, rama's birth even near my home also ba rama ram temple is there it's a long But, pending uh, case in supreme court okay no, uh, no santosh rama birth place is in the ayodhya okay. it is it is in up okay so that is why they are making it a uh, very popular yes no oh, it is a what i can say that uh, it was so much of history behind it so okay. it is a both a muslim and a hindus there was a temple and after that they built a what masjid so okay. the controversy is happening so because of that within within uh, uh, in 1985 it was happened within hours it was collapsed they have done collapsed so after that so much of debate so much of so many people involved in that case so many higher uh, rama back to home after 500 years uh, mm -hmm. okay so it is a, actually uh, it is a pride of hindus all hindus we are reclaim our uh, god to the original uh, okay okay so thank you for all this yes uh, as well said yes it's a pride for every uh, rather than saying hindus i would have just say that it's a pride for every indian right so uh, i mean uh, for the next one one and a half years it's very hard for you to visit but if you get chance please try to visit once there right and now in the last one month january 21st i would say last 10 15 days a uh, lot of people have coming there and a lot of private jets has been landing there and a uh, lot of things are going on around right and uh, a special thanks to our prime minister because of him everything was fast in the process and it's going good right so far everything is good now couple of days back i was just seeing what has happening there and i was seeing a, i was seeing, uh, seeing the statistics i, I don't know uh, it's it's because of uh, my profession or something i'm always interested in numbers i'm always interested in numbers right i keep seeing the statistics i was seeing in the last 3 4 days i was just observing how many people are coming to coming there okay how much of donation has been collected how many of uh, uh, how much i mean how many people are coming from different countries how many coming from different states everything they are tracking actually right now i am interested in this numbers now right A lot of people are uh, tweeting on twitter let's like, say ayodhya like they are they, that's just uh, it's a, a tagline right it's a tagline that they are putting it so we were able to see that instagram we were able to see in a uh, twitter we were able to see in facebook everything but you know what there could be a people who would have updated in instagram as well as in whatsapp right there could be people who have updated in facebook and they would have updated in telegram something like that right of course maybe they would have not done it in linkedin but yeah just to uh, tell you there are different social medias that we have now if this task is given for me i have to collect all the data from all the social media and try to figure out how many people have visited how many people have tweeted how many people have visited more than once so i need to keep track of it i need to keep track of it right uh, i don't know whether this is uh, 
uh, myth or something like I, I keep seeing uh, this. Uh, the people who uh, the famous temple which I know is uh, Tirupati in Tirumala, right? So Tirumala is the famous temple which I know in South India. So people from all across the country and uh, from different countries also people come there and visit. But people who belong to Tirupati doesn't go very often. Have you observed this? Have you observed yes, this? Yes, yes. Yeah. Yes, yes. So similarly, here also what is happening? People who are in Ayodhya, surrounded people, they are not going actually. That's the statistics here. People who are nearby temples, they are not going. People who are coming, uh, I, even I checked it, okay. I have to uh, plan it for one week. There is a train which goes from Bangalore to Ayodhya and there it takes around two, two and a half days. And again, I have to visit there again, come back two, two and a half days. It's gone. One week is gone. Even I was checking, right? People are going walking by, I mean, by walk. People are going from 2,000, 2,500 kilometers. People are going and people who are two kilometers away also are not visiting, right? So that's what it's happening. Now, what I wanted to do is I wanted to collect all the data from the different social medias and I have to report it to news channel or I have to report it to central minister. Something I have to do, right? Now, what is the option I have first? I'll collect the data from Facebook, Telegram or WhatsApp. I'm just keeping in a very simple number. You can talk it about like, maybe you can talk about a 49 lakhs or 81 lakhs, or you can talk it about 141 lakhs. You can take any number, right? Now, all this data I'm getting from different social media platform. And imagine that I'm getting in a different file formats. I'm getting in a file formats. So file formats is something which has those information, right? So when I have this social media data, that is coming from uh, different, different file formats. I need some people to analyze that. I need some people to analyze that. Who are those people? Of course, I need uh, people who can uh, figure out how many people have come. Uh, I think there also there is some mandatory that uh, you have to show some ID card. Uh, okay, just like uh, in a very famous temples, you have to show some proof. And here also uh, being a digital India, we are also like uh, trying to get the proof how many times you're coming or uh, is do you have a valid uh, proof a uh, valid ID card to enter, right? So those type of things is happening. Now, if I track this, what is happening? One problem which I have seen here is five people are analyzing five reason that one person could have posted on the Instagram and one person, same person could have posted on Facebook. But if I analyze it, that person is counted twice. So it's a duplicate count, right? And some people may have not entered some details. So a lot of missing values, a lot of duplicates, everything may be there. Now, if all the five people goes and talks to the CEO of the news agency or a central minister, life becomes very hard, right? So in order to overcome this problem, I propose a solution. Why five people are going and talking to one person? Let me bring everything into one system. So everything bring into one system. So some of the social media data I would be collecting from uh, maybe Facebook, Instagram, Telegram, everything I'll be collecting it and I'll be storing in one place. Now, on top of that, I will start analyzing now. I will remove the duplicates. I will make sure that null values has been removed. I'll make sure that the customer is not counted twice or the people who are visiting temple not counted twice. Now, those type of things we'll try to manage. And this is my proposed solution. And the interaction is going to be very simple. One person interacting with them rather than multiple people and going and talking there. Right. Now, this is a, a proposed solution for me. And who is going to do all this? It's none other than data engineer. So data engineer collects all the data from different sources. Now I'm uh, speaking about technical words. Okay, leave about social media. Who is data engineer? Data engineer is a person who collects the data from different source systems, organize it well, does all the transformations, data cleaning, data checks, special characters, removals, everything. They'll make it organized one. And finally, they will analyze from this. Maybe an analyzing the data can be handed over to someone else who is called a data analyst. But the primary work of a data engineer is just remember that collecting, transforming, cleaning, pushing. That's it, right? And that's what we will be doing as part of this solution. Okay, now let's talk about another example. Let's talk about another example. Imagine I am working with a healthcare. I'm working with a healthcare. So maybe I did not want to start with this example. That's why I always started with a temple example first. And then now I'm talking about the hospital data. Now in the hospital data, what is happening? 
I'm getting the uh, patient's records. Uh, they are wearing some smartphones, I mean, smart devices. It gets tracks your oxygen or it tracks, uh, tracks your um, pulse or it tracks your steps, right? It tra tracks all your uh, like uh, heartbeat, everything it calculates, right? Now, all this inpatients, outpatients, devices, pharmacy, clinical, laboratory, everything, I have to maintain the records. I have to maintain the records. I have to make maintain the database. Now, how to do it? Same problem. I used to get the data, inpatient data. I used to get this pharmacy. I need to get this labs. I need to get this clinics. I need to get this research. I need to get this. And all are I'm getting in different, different files, right? If you go to hospital, hospital will give a separate bill. You go to pharmacy, pharmacy, they'll give you a separate bill. Right. And you go to your uh, check, I mean, uh, test there also, they'll give a separate bill. Why three bills? Why can't you organize it well? So that if I go and search about that uh, patient, only in the hospitals, we don't call them as a customers. We call them as a patients. So we wanted to report to the main healthcare center, right? So we have to report to main healthcare center. What is WHO? Anyone? World health organization. World health organization. World health organization. Now, in this, we have to report to World Health Organization. In that case, five people talking to them is actually not the right approach. And there could be that people may think that these are the patients, these are different patients. Of course, there can be different patients, but we may not get to know what is happening in the background, right? So in order to overcome that, the same solution I'm applying, gather all the data. So gather all the data, then you have to make sure you organize it well, build the pipeline, and then report it to WHO. And this is a solution which we can handle it with the help of healthcare. Same definition, I will say, same approach. You get the data, clean the data, make sure there is no duplicates, make sure there is no null values, and finally push it back into WHO, right? Now, let's try to come up with another use case. So this is all I'm talking about technical words, right? Now, let me put into a a non-technical word. Before that, uh, as I was talking about the power of social media, uh, why data engineering is being demanded or why the data-driven technologies is being demanded, it's all because of the apps that we use, right? Uh, if you just open your smartphone right away in now, and if you count the number of applications that you have, you will have minimum 20, 25. You'll have minimum 20, 25, right? So 20, 25 applications you're using for all that, you cannot just use it like that. WhatsApp will never work without creating an account. Facebook will never work without creating an account. Instagram will never work without creating an account. For everything, you need an account. 25 accounts you need. One person, 25 accounts. Imagine there are 8 billion people on this earth and 3.5 billion people are using internet. Where will we go, right? So how the data is getting generated? And nowadays, everyone will have either 1.5 to 2.5 GB of data every day. So you keep on spending, spending, spending. Who is there to collect it? Who is there to transform it? And that is where the organizations are lagging. We don't have the proper talented people who can take care of this, right? And why all this technology, I mean, why all this technology is in demand? It's all because in the last 20 years, things have changed. 2004 to 2024, right? Now we are in 2024. In 20 years, we have seen all the applications that we have. We are seeing on the screen, all these applications have been launched in the recent times. When I say recent times, in the last 15, 20 years. Before that also, data was there, but we did not have much of people using it. And I'm very proud to tell you that we are the people who have seen both the type of life, life without internet, life with internet. During my graduations, I never even know how to browse it. That was the stage I was there. We used to go to class. We used to go make the notes and we, to, we used to study. That is where we come from. And nowadays, kids are attending online classes. That's a technological change that has happened. Right. And in the last 10 years, 15 years, you can see how the growth of the data and whatever you're seeing, it's actually the active users. And when I say billion, right, it's a billion. Try to understand how big number it is. Right. And whatever you see now, you will never know what is happening in the back end. Right. If I talk about one minute, one minute, if I'm giving a lecture in that one minute, there are four lakh fifty fifty six thousand tweets that is happening in one minute. 46,000 pictures has been uploaded in Instagram. And Google is something which has to work day and night. Because when we are not searching, 
other side of the world where it's morning us uk canada they people will search when they are sleeping we will use it so there's no stopping for google and people say that google never sleeps that's true and it has to process 40000 search every second how is going to manage it for everyone who asks this question they have to respond right a lot of things is happening in the back end and you need to be aware of it well keeping all this aside these are the reasons why the data is getting bigger and bigger and bigger it's all because of i can openly tell you that internet is actually creating a greater impact uh, again uh, there are a lot of pros and lot of cons but when i'm talking about data internet usage smartphone sensors smart devices cctv cameras iot all this is actually making the data to grow like anything and nowadays there is no data there is only big data there is no data there is only big data and first of all we are struggling to understand how data has been collected now we are always working in a big data when i say big we don't have any number as as big as that we cannot fit it in our current system and the other part is you need not be a formal educated person to use your smartphone in fact there are a lot of features which i don't know my cousin helps me who is it 5 years old you need not have a formal education right even if you talk about your parents even they can use it if you talk about your grandparents even they can use it and that's how the use of smartphones devices internet uses is actually creating more data 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 and finally we are ending up with big big data we are all in the receiving side right we are all at the usage but we really don't know how these companies are struggling to manage it and that is why you people are required in the it market to manage this data and that is why from the day one consider today as a day one and it's the next step next step of your career where you can start becoming a data engineer where because the world needs you the world needs you correct is it really important to have the data can we ignore it what happened last year can i ignore what happened in 2021 can i ignore well let me tell you one thing your data is your asset you can never ignore right so everyone will have their own flashback everyone will have their own growth well we can never forget our past right so data is really important for us it is important for us for making decisions right and it will help you to understand about your organization how to improve very simple uh, very simple example i'll tell you uh, imagine we are running the batches we are taking the uh, data engineering course or data analytics course right we will not think only about this year we'll talk about what happened last year we'll talk about what happened 2018 what happened 2019 so we always try to get back the history right and that is important for us and that is what we are doing data can never be ignored right now talking about a bit of non technical we all know that what happens to our roads and our city when it rains heavily the picture is taken from my terrace of my home which is in bangalore and some time back i told i am in a very decent place right even if you are in decent place something which is not controllable is what if we train so heavily right so we have not been prepared for this right now imagine what if it rains so heavily what happens data rain water never gets a place to settle it is spread spreading across the streets it enters the house your normal life is affected right and if you go and do a background research the reasons are no proper rain water harvesting no proper planning and you have been not prepared for the situation every year we talk about rain but we never been prepared right now this is about okay rain let me take another example imagine all of a sudden 40 relatives come to your house your cousins your brothers your grandparents your uncle your aunt your uh, nephew everyone comes to your house and your house is 3 bhk suddenly if everyone comes to your house what will happen of course you people will enjoy will have a great time but the problem is we will have a food shortage maybe it will be very congested no place to sleep and you'll send some of them to terrace to sleep right and you will have to uh, take your neighbors help the lot of things can happen 40 people you are not able to manage it 40 people you are not able to manage it within your house because everyone came at the same time you invented some in the morning you invented some in the evening maybe you invented some in the e- night but everyone came at a time and the biggest reason is no proper arrangements no proper planning and you will not been handled the situation well imagine that i am talking about just 40 people 
And now we have come to a stage that the data size is 40 gigabytes. We are not able to manage 40 people to our house. And we are stuck in this world with a 40 gigabyte. People who don't know what is this gigabyte, it is 10 to the power of 21. 40 followed by 21 zeros. And we are struggling to manage 40 people in our house. Now, how the system will behave if we are getting 40 gigabytes of data? Do you have capacity to handle? Do you have the capacity to process? Is it possible? And that is where, what if it suddenly rains? Now I'm changing to, what if it suddenly data flows, right? One day, you see how much of data that was captured, right? And I've shown you this. I've shown you this. How many searches happening in just one day? Just in one day, see how many people search this word. In one word, one day, how many people search this word? And there is another news. If you are from a, a, a South India, anyone who's from Tamil Nadu, there is, was another news that happened yesterday. What was that? Vijay captain new party. What is that, Vijay? Vijay announced a new political party. Yes. Active. Vijay is also entering a political party. So if you go and search about Vijay, okay, I'll I'll show you a, di a live demonstration. Okay, I'll show you a live demonstration. Google Trends. Go to the Google Trends and search about Vijay actor and select the past seven days. What has happened? Do you see the peak? When is this happened? February 1st, February 2nd. He has announced yesterday and see the search that has happened. A live example I'm showing you. See this. If I search about Ayodhya and let me select it for last 90 days. Why there is only peak here? Anyone? Uh, Reinstation process uh, happened in January 21st. That's the reason. The rest of the days are um, um, temple construction is going on. Yes. Uh, see, one thing I'll tell you, uh, this is my honest uh, experience. Okay. This is my honest experience. Don't search job just because you want to get into a good financial stability. Right. My personal experience, I've been seeing this, all this, and I'm also saying this, uh, I am mm -hmm. always interested in numbers. 80% of the people who are working in companies, they are working only for the salary purpose they are not liking their work i'm telling you 80 percent of the people who are working in your companies are working for by force oh i have to pay rent i have to take care of my kid i have to take care of kids education i have to plan for this i have to buy a car i have to pay emi 80 percent of the people who are working in organizations are not liking the work they do they are forcefully doing it and in this course also i don't know how many people have come here with interest very openly i've not interacted to each one of you i don't know your names but i can read your mind you all people have come here to get a job to get a high package salary right i would say keep that aside learn the subject show interest right start exploring about data if you show interest, you will fall into the 20%. 20% of the people who really work with passion have the success rate to achieve in career. I agree. People who do by force, you again, after two years, you feel like, oh, this work is not good. I have to jump. Or oh, this company is like frustrating. My managers are not good, right? That's the challenge. Try to be in 20%. If you be in the 20%, you will, you will learn a lot of things, right? And... This is an example. Start researching about this. Just go with and explore how data is getting collected. How many people are searching? Go with Insta. See, you're, you're going to Instagram. You're seeing WhatsApp. You're seeing Facebook. But try to understand the reality. How it is working. So many people are posting pictures. So many people are posting tweets. How it is analyzed. How it is captured. That is where you show the interest. If you show interest, you will see a lot of difference in the way you handle things. Right? Now, coming back to this. 40 people you, know, you are not able to handle here. And where is 40 gigabytes, right? And now finally, coming back to the main topic, what is data engineering? As I said, data engineering is all about getting the data from different systems, collecting it, transforming it, doing some calculations, doing some cleaning process and pushing it. Now, I will use a technical words, which is called E. ETL. ETL stands for extracting. E stands for extracting all the data. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. I'll get from all the social medias. I'll be getting from the different systems. I'll be getting in Excel, CSV, JSON. Everywhere I'll be extracting the data and then I'll be transforming it. Transforming is basically like doing some all some minor checks, major checks, doing all the missing value checks, removing the null values, duplicates, doing all the data cleaning things. And finally, I will load it into the system. And the from system, 
So today, if I simply search, I'm getting the result, right? You know how much of hard work Google has done this to work with the backend? And that is why I keep saying this, people will never get to know the backstage people. Backstage people are working day and night in order to achieve this. I'll give another example. Uh, we always, uh, when I say we, right, uh, most of the people will always judge the other members based on the professions they do, right? So, for example, the person who comes to your house and collects the garbage, right, every morning, uh, they come uh, nearby your streets, right? On your streets, the garbage person comes, right? He collects all the garbage things and he moves out, right? And that's actually profession that people don't even value them, right? And we talk about securities, we talk about watchmen. So people always, uh, there are some people who always don't give respect to them, right? Now, there's also a person who does a haircut, right? People who does a haircut, we don't even value. When I say we, there are some people who really don't value it. Just imagine one month, if there is no person who's coming and collecting the garbage in your house, one month, there is no saloons or air cuts that is been opened. One month, if you are having no security or nothing in your house, just tell me what will happen. What will happen? One month, to survive. The atmosphere is uh, um, polluted. Right. And thieves uh, are... Correct. If you want to have a good normal life, there are a lot of people who are working in back end. Remember that, right? It's not about only your profession. You are working in AC room. You're going to IT, work for five days, get paid for some, uh, 30 days, right? I mean, get uh, work for five days in a week and you'll be paid well. That's because you are in a professional. And of course, IT is also like that. Once you go there, you have to face your clients. But I'm saying in general, okay? But a lot of people who are struggling hard who are doing a, a background work for us. I always think about the backstage people and very close to my heart is always data engineers because uh, I worked in all the technologies, uh, but my favorite one is data analyst, something because I can visualize it, right? The reason why I'm showing you these graphs every now and then, it's all because I visualize it, okay? Visualize stays in your mind forever. But if I talk about data engineers, it's very close to my heart because I know the pain that the data engineers put in every project, Without data engineers, there is no other technology, right? So it is important to manage your data. And that is why I'm calling it as ETL. ETL stands for extracting, transforming, and loading. Now, is it really needed? Yes, definitely it is needed because you have to bring all the data into one place, start analyzing it and figuring it out how we can improve the business. Very simple, more data, more analysis, more money, more profit. Every company, every company in this world, except the charity and trust, are running to make profit. If you ask me for a minute, if I don't think about as a trainer, if I'm thinking about the business, KSR's objective is also to make money. KSR's objective is also to make profit. I'm telling you very openly. But if I talk about a mentor, I am here to guide you and take you in the right direction. But if I think about a business, I'm here shouting, because of business, right? So every company wants to make money. Every company is running because of profit. And in order to do that, you have to have a proper system. Without system, you can't even run the show, right? So it is so important. And in real world, as I said, rather than telling about social media, Instagram, Facebook, I'll talk in terms of files now. So data has been receiving in different files and that is why we have to collect it and put it into a single system. And that is why ETL is needed. And a simple example, you can see that one is a not organized, one is organized. And this let's place replace with clothes with data. If I want to wear, now, now just after this class, just imagine that I'm going for a dinner with my friends and I'm going to meet my school friends, the dress code is black shirt. If I want to search a black shirt, in this case, literally I may take 30 minutes. And after I get it, I can dump it back. So dumping, I'll take five minutes. Searching, I'll take 30 minutes. But here, dumping, I'll take 30 minutes. That means I'll arrange it properly. Okay, I'll arrange it properly. And searching, I will, get any shirt in less than five minutes because it's organized. Most of the people in this group are group A. We, we, we actually been like this. If I, if I open uh, my cupboard and take a snap and send you, it will be like this. But what is really needed is to be like a person B. The reason why you need to be person B, it's because 
you will have a well organized structure it is easy to get it right and that's what don't think about the clothes think about the data now so data is to be well organized and that is what we are working hard right and as i said data engineers are not a new comers here they have been there in the system for 25 30 years but why it is becoming famous now well there is already an etl process that we have there are a lot of tools that we already have if you see this we have sql server sap oracle talent informatica bin issue all these are already there already there but unfortunately all these systems are coming to end one by one slowly the systems are dying everyone has to die one day and this technology is also dying the reason this technologies or the old technologies which was built for data engineering pipelines but unfortunately the way we are using the data the way we are using the internet now it's like a balloon it's exploding balloon has a limit you keep blowing it has a limit after one extent it will burst that is what is happening most of the tools are exploding they are not able to manage huge data now if you ask me a question are we going to learn any of these tools the answer to your question is nothing we are not going to learn anything because this is all old technologies but we are going to learn all this in the cloud all this in the cloud and the reason to not use this is we have a lot of problems we have a lot of problems maintenance cost is high and i have to buy a new product and if it explodes data loss will happen company will not buy a big big balloon for us big big tools for us no all this becomes a limitations in order to overcome all this now we are moving into cloud now let me put in a very simple explanation why cloud okay today we have a data right and it is growing bigger 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 let's see what is happening in ksr i'll talk about a ksr problem now okay in in ksr i am having ksr information and i am actually storing in my laptop all the students information right so after some time i'll be asking your names i'll be asking where you come from so what you will do you will tell me where i'll store i'll store in my system so today all of the ksr information is stored in my laptop so one laptop and uh, my laptop charges 1 lakh and the expense that has been happening is 1 lakh okay so 1 lakh i'm spending now so imagine tomorrow we also grow into a bigger company now ksr will have 10 terabytes of data so from 1 terabyte data i'm increasing to 10 terabyte of data now very straightforward solution i'll buy 10 laptops and the charges for managing the data is 10 lakhs now tell me is it a right approach no no why no it's just no, maintenance cost has been increasing just because ksr doesn't have 15 lakhs you're saying it we cannot buy no. 10 15 laptops what is the problem with this mm -hmm. why can't i buy 10 laptops we need to create the infrastructure first the capacity networking do you all know uh, since i'm talking about ayodhya and rama Okay, um, I, I'll also tell you. Uh, do you all know who is uh, uh, Ravana? Yes. Do you all know who is Ravana? Who is Ravana? Yes, yes. yes, King of uh, Lanka. King of Lanka. Okay. Uh, I mean, how many head is he has? Ten, ten. Ten head. Even Ravana cannot use ten laptops, okay? Because he has only two hands and ten heads. Well, how will I, how will I go and operate ten laptops at a time? It's impossible right this is a worst decision i can make it how can i store my data into 10 systems even god cannot go and work all at a time right so what i will do i will give to you people hey your people are all my students uh, you are very close to me let's meet up and you manage my data so i'll give one one laptop to one one people what will happen if i call you and ask hey can you share me the data and you'll say i'm in office i'm in beauty parlor I'm in uh, XYZ. I've come to theater. My cousin is using my system. My laptop is broken. All these reasons you will give. Where is data security? Right? So this is not the right solution. How to maintain 10 terabyte of data? Now, this is where we were struggling to store 10 terabyte of data. And suddenly, suddenly someone comes from sky and says that, don't worry, we will help you. 
and who was those people it's none other than cloud i was actually struggling okay so what was i struggling 10 terabyte of data i have to buy for 10 laptops okay and it's actually charges 10 lakhs so this was my worry so i told mahesh mahesh why are you spending 10 laptops we'll give it to our students then mahesh started asking question where is security now the people will run away with system one person will call and say there is no power one person will call and say that i don't have backup in my 10 laptops i am storing the 10 i mean uh, 10 terabyte of students information now mahesh comes and ask me tell me in the last uh, one year who got the highest package i need to tell this now what should i do i have to ask 10 people because the data is split into 10 systems where can i go and get all the 10 people's information and from each system who is the highest who is the highest who is yes and from those systems i have to get the highest well practically it's not possible this is not we are known for i am known for training i have to take training who will go and manage this data we were struggling 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 suddenly someone flying from the sky says that hey guys don't worry you give me 3 lakhs i will manage your entire system i will manage your entire system right i will manage your entire system i'll take care of your data i'll take care of your systems i'll take care of your backup i'll take care of your recovery i will take care of everything you just give me 3 lakhs nowadays most of the functions have you heard about the event management have you heard about event management yes yes in my case okay when i was uh, small i was kid right i used to attend a lot of uh, my cousins marriage so i used to work there like i used to serve them food i used to welcome people if someone is coming from railway station or uh, uh, airports i used to go there bring them that is what i was doing uh, in all of my cousins marriage i will not even be there in one single photo i'll not even be in the single photo because entirely i'll be roaming because it my cousin is like our own marriage we used to take care of it nowadays if i go to a marriage welcoming also they'll bring some uh, people good looking people they'll make a stand in the uh, door that is a reception and uh, some people will be managing the food section so they'll come in order they'll wear some uniform and they'll get get in order and lot of vehicles will be like a buffer where they'll if anyone is coming they'll go and pick it such a well organized who is doing this there is a company which acts like a event management they'll take care of everything they'll simply say sir you have come here you have come to marriage you are well dressed up why are you working you simply sit stand in uh, i mean go and sit in the ac go and take multiple photos we are here to take care and that is where the event management comes into picture and that is what now we are also handing over all this responsibility to cloud who is that cloud this are the four clouds and among this the one cloud which we are going to learn will be azure and that is why data engineering has now added another word called azure data engineering and that is what we are going to learn all the etl pipelines we are going to do we are going to gather the data we are going to clean the data we are going to do everything but where we are doing we are doing in the azure cloud and it's one of the best i wouldn't say it's a top one but it's a second top highest one and it has lot of features and it is having more than 200 services we can use it for our own services what is really required we can make use of it the entire data cleaning data transformations everything we are doing it in the cloud and we have microsoft azure which supports almost 200 services and finally we'll see we'll come back to the road map talking about data engineering layman terms technical explanations use cases keep all that aside now if you want to be a data engineer this is a road map this is a road map you have to learn all these topics right sql to communicate with a database python a coding language which you can communicate with any other tool data warehousing just like i showed you a cupboard how to organize the data that is what we will be seeing and how to handle the big data and finally as i told you we have three cloud services in that we will be learning one that is azure so this is a road map if you master this you can sit next to me and you can proudly say yes i am also data engineer and in order to be a data engineer you need to learn all this right so moving on why we are focusing on data engineering because as i said people are there to use but people are not there to manage it and that is why the demand for use uh, data engineers financially salary wise package wise 
as well as the job opportunities wise it is keep on increasing and we are into this stage now 20 to 30 percent all of the companies are looking ahead and in the next two three years that will be a even more increased right and uh, i'll tell you very openly by 2029 you will be hired to any company one and only if you know that one cloud service without cloud service without knowing one among the cloud service never expect a job after 2029 you still have five years you can enjoy for five years and again you can come back after five years and read it but the sooner you start the greater experience you will have because after 2029 everyone will start rushing up everyone will start rushing up everyone will start upgrading why are you waiting for that future date start it now and get good experience by the time everyone is forcefully asking to read then that time you have to put a lot of efforts now go it slowly right so please try to upgrade i'm not asking only to join this course you can do a research you can focus on other cloud whichever is good for you you join but always try to upgrade to one cloud right so the demand for data engineers is keep on increasing and uh, this is a wrong slide to show i should have shown you where there are no opportunities because everywhere data is involved everywhere data has been captured and everywhere data engineers are useful i'm not specifically focusing on banking on e-commerce wherever you go it's like a arch dog wherever you go i follow similarly wherever you go your data engineers will follow you with all that as said, if you're working in a normal role, okay, if you're working as a normal testing or a Java developer, if you're a four years experience, maximum you can get eight LPA, eight lakhs per annum. And I have seen a lot of people for four years, they're almost getting 16 to 17 LPAs. I have seen this lively in our course itself, in our batch itself. A lot of people have got almost four times, five times uh, for a data engineer role because this is one of the demand. Unfortunately, we don't have talents and at last i would talk about the job market the salary expectation will be definitely high and it is one of the technology which gets you the highest package and it is also said that banking has a lot of openings in terms of data engineers right and to move forward who can go for this course so the first thing which i would always say is people who want to get a high package people who want to get a high package let's go in this order let's go in this order so people who want to get high package please opt for this and those who are like working in a non-technical earning very less three lakhs three package well i would say learn a technology which can boost your career because after 15 years of 16 years of experience every company will ask you to move off you would have seen in the last two years how many layoffs is happening but if i go and compare all these layoffs is happening because people are underskilled or people are more experienced so for a 15 years experience I have to pay 30 lakhs package okay as a standard but if this uh, 15 years experience if a three years can get do it i can pay him 10 lakhs and get can get the work done why will i have to pay 30 lakhs so that is why as and then your experience increases you may lose your job and if you want to sustain the only thing is you have to be technically so good so personally technical things or technical knowledge will always keep you on top always it will keep you on top it's like a golden card for you you always hold the technical skills you will always be there friday okay one of my close colleague got fired from microsoft i'm working in microsoft so one of my close colleague got fired monday it can be me or if not monday tuesday it can be me microsoft google amazon uh, all of the companies are started firing from last year we thought it's a good company he thought we have a, a job security but we don't have last year microsoft uh, uh, like fired 10000 employees and this year they started again do you think i will be worried do you think monday if i go or oh, will i be worried or oh, i should I, I mean i will not get sleep and if i wake up or oh, is it going are they going to fire me definitely no because if you're technically strong no one can ever touch you right so people have good opportunity for freshers as well uh, of course if you have done freshers a lot of other things you have to do you have to create a linkedin account you have to just start chasing your hrs and start uh, coming up with the documentation write articles uh, not only this wherever you go freshers will always have a, a bit of uh, like uh, less opportunities right but rather than learning java rather than learning testing course go for the one which is in demand 
So at least some opportunities you will get it, right? If you if you search Java, there are five thousand people who will come and apply for Java. Java. But data engineers, there are no people. Not pe there are not no people. Like if you search for a data engineering profession, hardly you will get five or six people. So start learning this technology, which will boost your career path. And at last. After learning this course, you will be learning SQL, Python, Big Data, PySpark, and cloud computing, right? So with that, one last question. A lot of other institutes are there. Why should I join KSR? Well, let me tell you, you go and join any data engineering course in anywhere. They don't have everything in one course. You have to learn SQL separately. You have to learn Python separately. You have to learn uh, I mean, uh, Azure separately. There's always a, a N number of courses. But here, we are teaching all at one place. Uh, honestly, I'm a certified trainer, but training is not my profession. My profession is working in an organization. So all the classes which I explain, I never prepare and come. It's going to be a spot explanation. Just as I said, right, couple of hours before the session, I got to know that she's alive, right? Couple of hours before four o'clock. I was just I, I, from morning. I was busy four o'clock. I got to know that she was actually alive and it was a fake news. Six o'clock, I demonstrated that in the class. I have never been prepared. I'm not a trainer here. I'm actually going to be a mentor. Whatever I'm going to do in my projects, I'm going to explain here. So everything guaranteed is live examples. And certified to 80 hours of complete subject knowledge, you'll get it. We are going to build three real-time projects, three plus one, four projects. And we're going to build 10 pipelines. And more importantly, we'll help you in getting your interview guidance, interview questions, resume preparations, and of course, you speak with me, for sure you will learn how to manage your clients. As simple as that. You start speaking with me, you start exploring things with me. Other than technical things also, you will learn a lot. That is also guaranteed, right? So with all that, I would like to end the session.